Dawn Trail is less than 50 days away, and you may find yourself wondering what you should be doing to prepare, especially if you haven't kept up with everything since the Endwalker release. Thankfully, Ziv as a whole is very, very light on FOMO, and Dawn Trail is the first expansion following the whole light and dark saga, so there isn't a ton that you absolutely positively have to do before it launches. But in this video, I wanted to run down all the things that you should do between now and right up until June 28th or July 2nd, depending on your pre-order, to make sure that you're ready to dive in the second it releases. Naturally, your first priority should be to catch up on the MSQ. You can't start Dawn Trail if you haven't finished the existing main story content. If you're starting fresh with Endwalker, be ready because there are 108 quests to get through in those 50 days. If you're someone who finished it and then moved on and really hasn't come back for the post Endwalker content, those quests number about 50. So you better buckle in, especially if you haven't done both. Start getting to work on those now. You got plenty of time, Thank you. but not a ton of time. You'll have to do this as part of the MSQ anyway, since the post and walker quests are level 90, but make sure you get one job to the level cap, as this is the level that the Dawn Trail quests will start at. Even if you can complete them at a lower level like level 88, it may hamper you when it comes to dungeons, trials, etc. So make sure you're as high as you can be, you might thank yourself later. During London FanFest, Yoshida was quoted as recommending all players complete the Warring Triad questline. While we don't really know why this is recommended, it is part of Heaven's Word, so should be pretty easy to do beforehand. If you can't remember, this is the series where you complete trials against the three Merosidian gods, Sephiroth, Sophia, and Zervan the Demon. This starts at Torsfers from the Pillars. Uh, make sure to go do those. Um, can't really tell you why, but Yoshida recommends it, so we should do it. Good luck. In another interview, he also brings up the Eden Raid series from Shadowbringers as another great pick, describing it as interestingly also ties back in nicely to the concepts of light and dark the Void in the 13th. Through that, you'll just get a bit more insight into reflections and just what will happen to the other reflections of the source. Again, we have no idea what this means, though if I had to hazard a guess, it has something to do with that more advanced area we saw during the Dawn Trail streams. Perhaps we'll be hearing more about the different sources in Dawn Trail. So definitely consider doing those two because those are the ones Yoshida recommends. However, thanks to all the trailers, it looks like Kryle will finally be a full-fledged member of the Scions going forward. Now that she's a Pictomancer, and by full-fledged, I mean in combat. There's a good chunk during the MSQ where she's less available, uh, and that's because she's off dealing with Eureka. While it's not the most exciting content in the world, it is a pretty significant plot and character development for her. So I do recommend completing it as much as you possibly can if you can stomach the grind. Uh, the, the story points aren't huge, but it is character development and she's going to be main character. So you can kind of help, you know, buff her up, flesh her out in your mind beforehand. One thing I feel like a lot of people forget about is to prep their glams. You know, Tural is an all new zone. Surely you want to make sure you have the right outfit. Some of my ults have already gotten all decked out in lighter clothes for the better weather, those light furs, those kind of things. So just quickly put something together so you're not running around trying to do so the second it unlocks. Now, this is actually a really important one that a lot of people don't think about, but 
once the expansion is out, there are going to be spoilers everywhere. Just be safe. Right before launch, turn off your public chat. Turn off shout. Turn off yell. Like, turn off everything that you can stand dealing with out. And if you are going to talk about anything, call them by generic names like Area 1, Area 2, Trial 1, Trial 2, the Level 91 dungeon, Level 93 dungeon, those kind of things. It's just a kind thing to do to avoid spoilers. People have different sensitivities to these things. Uh, and while you might not think it's a big deal, it's just a kind thing to do if you're going to talk about it. If you weren't around for Endwalker's launch, be ready. For the first week, it was very, very common for login queues to take literal hours to get through. There were thousands of people in queue, and that's assuming your game didn't crash or time out during that process and kick you all the way to the back. Uh, if you work from home, don't be afraid to boot up the game, assuming you can get away with it, and queue early so you can play when you're done. And while the expansion is new, you may have to plan on longer play sessions because there is no just logging in real quick to play a little. I remember a few days for Endwalker where I literally logged in, got in queue at 11 a.m. and I don't think I got access till 8 p.m. So like, these things can take a lot. So either skip a week, skip two weeks, uh, but if you're going to try and play, you're gonna have to queue early. Uh, because if you only queue when you have free time, you're gonna be wasting most of your time. It sucks. Uh, maybe the server upgrades have helped. You know, because last time an expansion came out, we didn't have that new uh, that new shard, the new servers. God, what are they called? I'm doing a quick Google here. Uh, 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 let's see this. We didn't have Dynamis, right? Dynamis was the name? Yeah, Madu and Seraph. Halicarnassus. Um... We didn't have that back then. Um, so I guess the hope is that maybe the servers will be able to handle it a little better uh, from everything that they've learned, plus having more empty servers, those kind of things. But yeah, those are the big ones for me, I think. Like I said, there's not a ton. If you really want to be prepared, you can go do your Endwalker relic quests just to be prepared for when those come out for Dawn Trail. But there's not a whole lot that actually carries over because we're kind of starting new outside of the Mandeville quests and stuff like that. So take it easy. Don't stress too much. The game isn't going anywhere. There's going to be a lot of issues around launch. So just, you know, be as ready as you can. Be prepared to wait a bunch. But most of all, just try to have a good time. Don't get frustrated. If you're getting frustrated, just step away. It's okay. The game will be there when you come back. In the meantime, as always, I would love to ask you to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment for this video's question, uh, which is the same thing. Is there anything that you think Final Fantasy players absolutely must do before Dawn Trail? Let me know. Let other players know in the comments. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon linked in the description below. Would Imagine that. Wow, that's new. Not like I've said that every video. Uh, and... <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but I, I don't know. That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, yeah. For now, though. For now, though. Uh, for now, though, I think that's it. I'll see you next time. <laughs>